Okay guys, so today we're basically going to do a retrograde urethrogram with a low fidelity model of the anatomy. So what we have here is a small catheter. This is like a baby feeding tube basically. We've also got our 60cc syringe, uh, which I've used red food coloring in order to make it more apparent as we push it through. Uh, this is going to be our penis today. And as you can see, I've used some IV tubing in order to simulate a urethra that's leading up to our bladder. So, um, I guess we should start. The way we do a retrograde urethrogram is first, if you can, you put the patient in an oblique position because you're going to be taking an x-ray of their pelvis. Then you take the penis, you uh, bring it off to the side so that way once the uh, x-ray is shot, you get the entirety of the urethra all the way up. That's the point after all in order to check the integrity. And then you take, um, it depends on the source, some say uh, not diluted, some say to dilute some of the uh, contrast. Regardless, you take about 60 cc's and you take your little tube, you insert it into the urethra about two or three centimeters. And this is where um, you're going to have to do something in order to not allow this to extravasate. So uh, you can put pressure along the glands penis in order to make sure that everything goes forward. I'm just going to press on our low fidelity model at the mouth and I'm going to push. So you push firmly but slowly. And what you want is to instill the bladder with all of the contrast. Um, you don't want to push too fast because you can intravasate some of the contrast into the venous plexus of the um, bladder. But once you've got all of your contrast in, you're going to snap the picture. So at this point, I would have the x-ray shot. Obviously, you're wearing lead in order to protect yourself. And that's it. That's how you do the retrograde urethrogram.